There's footage. I have a tape of the party that uh, Diddy gave at the shine was convicted. He was making people take tequila shots that had that was laced with certain drugs. They pay big to do damage and procure victims. They're sex drugs, and all of these big is sex worker. So check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose. It's a way of passage to certain people in the entertainment business. With all these people coming out against Diddy, do you think more people are gonna come out? It's a lot of people that, you know, see you gotta realize is that everybody think, oh, everybody's coming out now. It's a lot of people that wanted to bring stuff out long time ago, but the lawyers wouldn't take it. The lawyers wouldn't deal with it. There's footage. I have a tape of the party that uh, Diddy gave at the shine was convicted. Cause you gotta realize he was normal back then. He was he was okay. he, he was the normal Diddy back then. Now he brother love. Who else and what else did Sean Diddy Combs corrupt? Okay, so what trafficking is when you take underage Cause if I if I got a girl Come on, Cam. If I if I talk to a girl in Miami and I want to fly her to New York, you know what I'm saying? And she come to my house and we as consenting adults have that's not sex trafficking. Sex trafficking is when you are buying or purchasing or selling sex. You know what I'm saying? And you go from state to state doing it. Or you have underage coming to state to state to have sex and do sex and lewd acts. That's more like sex trafficking, bro. After Cassie Ventura, the rapper's ex-girlfriend, came forward with claims of physical and sexual abuse, several other high-profile victims have filed complaints alleging everything from sexual assault to sex trafficking and human trafficking against rapper Sean Diddy Combs. He was putting things into the, the, the drinks. He was making people take tequila shots that, had, that was laced with certain drugs that enticed people to want to have sex and everything. This is part of the complaint that the people around him are saying. This is kind of, this is a thing that Jonathan Obi was saying. This is the thing that Cassie was saying. I never said that because I wasn't around them during them times. So based on the information that we have from the three people that made complaints against him that we know of, they said that he had done that in the past according to them and according to the court documents that we know of. Recently, an old yet very disturbing video featuring Justin Bieber and Sean Diddy Combs has angered internet users who are questioning the rapper's past with the sorry singer. Due to this, people on social media are concerned that Bieber was only 15 when Diddy may have started grooming him. He's having 48 hours with Diddy, where we hanging out and what we're doing we can't really disclose. Diddy is seen saying in the footage as he stands next to Bieber. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All right, doing? young brother. Everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, his, you know partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. Yeah, number? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. I'm going to tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 555. Five, five. Yes. Okay. 5555. Five, five, five. Okay. 555. Five, five. You heard that? Yet, he continued, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. 
Then he brought up Usher, stating that even though he doesn't have official guardianship over Bieber, he was given a 48 hour period to take custody of the youngster. In the same video, Diddy asserts that he was Usher's legal guardian, even though Usher was still a teenager when he recorded his debut album. So check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose. Other people close to the singers claim that Diddy used to take Usher, who was 14 at the time, to wild parties where he was introduced to booze, drugs, and sexual activity. As expected, Usher has come forward and claimed that Diddy wished to give him more of an edge and ready him for the music business. And it was hard. There were, there were a lot of things I seen and uh, a lot of positions that I think I was put in where I had to make very, very tough decisions in my life about who I would be. I was 13 years old. And being 13, having that type of exposure, you know, yeah, it was cool to go to Howard Homecoming with Puff. It was great to be able to go to Club USA or the Supper Club, you know, with Puffy in that time or the tunnel. But these are places that a 13-year-old probably should not be. You know, most kids will be excited about it. You know, most kids are trying to figure out, you know, how to be around, you know, hot girls, pretty girls. I'm around grown women and I'm seeing them do things and and have experiences that I'm not quite ready for. You know, and I think that he was just trying to show me the lifestyle. However, that's not what I was there for. I was there because I wanted a career, man. So we would fight, we would tussle. <laughs> More than often, I think Puffy would say, man, you gotta chill, like you're just a little bit too intense. You know, you gotta relax. Like, yo, man, I'm here to work, man. I ain't saying in a week. I mean, I'm 13 years old, like banging on this man as though, <laughs> You know, I am the manager. I am the spokesperson for Usher. And I'm telling him, look, you're gonna put me in the studio, man. You got Biggie Smalls in there. You got Craig Mack in there. You're gonna make me a priority too. I'm not here to party with you. I don't wanna go to the clubs. I'm, matter of fact, I'm too young to even be in here. Why you got me in clubs? As a result of being around that man, Sean Puffy comes. I don't sleep to this day. <laughs> I have a problem sleeping to this day. I got it from him. I mean, this is a dude who just never slept. He's just, I mean, he's the, probably the first one to get up and the last one to go to sleep. You know, that opportunity to exceed expectation isn't readily available for me. So at the age of eight, nine, you know, I begin to ask myself, like, what am I gonna do with my life? Who am I gonna be? Am I gonna be um, a teenager who sleeps on my mom's couch looking for, you know, a menial job that, you know, will at least give me enough to just pay for gas to get there and from every day. Nah, I wanna do something that I feel is gonna take my mom uh, out of here and, and hopefully put us in a better situation. So what would that be? Meanwhile, like Justin Bieber, who was 16 when he first met Diddy, some videos say that Diddy was also grooming him and pressuring him into having freak-offs or several sexual partners. Diddy also allegedly got Justin addicted to drugs and pushed him into doing things he didn't want to do. There was a time where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, I was doing molly, um, you know, shrooms, everything. And it was just an escape from me. You have all these people around me just kind of hanging on, wanting stuff from me, knowing that, like, I was living this lifestyle that they also wanted to live, drinking, smoking. Now, these claims are indeed alarming and unsettling, but no official source has verified or corroborated them. Diddy has also refuted every claim leveled by Cassie and remained silent regarding the ones about Justin and Usher. Additionally, Justin has also not discussed his relationship with Diddy, nor the alleged abuse he experienced in public. I don't want to talk about what they uh, confided in me, but it's a lot of stuff that has been going on and um, like there's tapes that are running around with women 
that's tape that is running around with women and they want to get a hold to hold hold of those tapes. So they could bring them, you know, to the lawyers. And those tapes do exist. But it's going to be hard for them to get. Cuz a lot of people don't want them to know that they was in those tapes and they was a part of it. That is over the edge. Like you can't complain about this sitting here playing in your face when all you gotta do is tell the truth. Shut that whole shit down. Naturally, in response to the video, one person out of the many even expressed their worry on social media, asking what 40-year-old wants to hang out with a 14 and 15-year-old. Unless, of course, it's a close relative or your child. Because, yo, dog, he, it, it's, it's, you got to realize in that industry, a lot of people are stand back and say, well, it happened to me. That's how some of them people pay their dues. And the people who don't go down like that don't be as great as the ushers as the ditties. Cassie opened up a floodgate for lawyers to look at people's cases now and say, yeah, we might can get some money out of that. We might can do that. Yeah, he did abuse you. Nobody really cared at first. But now they see that a lot of this stuff may have some truth to it and the people can be Pay for it. And now, according to People Worldwide, Diddy is an abhorrent pervert. How many ways do I have to say it? <laughs> These <laughs> is wild. They're, they pay big to do damage and procure victims. They're sex traffickers, and all of these big is whores. Sex worker. $250,000 a month to do straight at will. You couldn't wait for Cassie to run. You couldn't wait to be in Cassie's shoes. Carisha, please. In other news, the charges against the disgraced musician have undoubtedly grown since Cassie Ventura, his ex-girlfriend, accused him of rape and persistent physical abuse in November 2023. P. Diddy has been mired in a trail of accusations of sexual assault, sex trafficking, and human trafficking, even though her example helped other parties overcome similar obstacles. And while he's away handling the fallout from the FBI raid on his residences in Miami and Los Angeles, internet users are still conjecturing about the possibility that he may have trained Justin Bieber when he was in his teens. A few months ago, similar charges surfaced, and they have since resurfaced thanks to the footage featuring a 40-year-old Diddy and a younger Bieber, possibly as young as 15 at the time. Meanwhile, Diddy introducing his adopted white daughter, Ava Baroni, is featured in a highly upsetting old video that has been viral on social media. During an Instagram live stream, Combs forces her to identify herself as Ava Combs Baroni. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. What's your oh. other last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it's breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. you but you still have beautiful parents that, that you're my child also. But please, please tell the story. So, I was <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> And then Papa Combs decided <laughs> that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with the spirits. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Naturally, people on social media immediately began to worry about the implications of Diddy's tight relationship with these minors at the time. While some internet users found these films creepy and unsettling, others expressed relief that the shadowy side of show business was now being exposed. Currently, according to a source, 
Justin Bieber also has no desire to confront his previous videos with Sean Diddy Combs in light of the rapper's alleged rape and sex trafficking incidents. But if the Peaches singer was forced to explain his relationship with the controversial rapper, he wouldn't remain silent, as per recent reports. That's all for today. Make sure to share your thoughts in the comments below. For more updates, hit the bell icon.